We know that to be healthy, we need to keep our bodies hydrated. For as long as I can remember, I've heeded the advice to drink six, maybe eight glasses of water every day. But I couldn't tell you where that advice comes from. I mean, do we really need to drink one of these every day? This bottle contains two litres, the amount most of us think we need in a day. But there's actually no real evidence for this. In fact, research suggests that one litre is enough. But what I want to know is, does it really have to be water, or will other drinks hydrate us just as well? To satisfy my thirst for knowledge, I've come to Cardiff, where we're going to run an experiment. Here at this British Gas call centre, we've recruited 24 volunteers. We've divided them into four groups. Six people will drink plain old water, another six fresh orange juice, the third group will have coffee, and the rest will be drinking fresh milk. Our volunteers will consume precisely a litre of their particular drink in 60 minutes. Dr Stuart Galloway from Stirling University will measure how well hydrated they are over the next three hours in a particularly charming way. So we have a little pot that we, we need you to pee in at the start, OK? You need to empty your bladder and then every hour during the experiment. That's right, this experiment is all about measuring urine output. The more hydrated they are, the more they'll pee. <laughs> <Before to that. laughs> I wonder how long before there's a queue for the loo. While our volunteers are on their drinking binge, Stuart's going to show me the secret of good hydration. Stuart, I think most people like me would think that water is the best hydrator. Yeah, well, water is good in many situations, but if you want something that's better than water, you have to add some other ingredients. And we have a, a few sitting here. Uh, so we have s some glucose, the sugar uh, in a drink will help with water absorption in the intestine. So it's actually getting the water around the body better that all these magic ingredients do. Yeah, and, and then here we have normal salt. So it's, the sodium in here is important for helping to retain the water in the body water pool. Okay. And in, in a, a drink that's designed to be very good at hydrating, but you'll have a reasonable amount of salt in there. Then probably a bit of flavoring, add some of that to to make it lemon, lemon yeah, lemon okay. just to uh, make it taste a bit nicer. Uh, and then Doesn't if we add, we add nice. the water. <laughs> so we're making up about 500 mils. So that would be a rough mix of a solution that would be good for hydration. That solution will help it, the, the water be delivered to the circulation rapidly, but also help you to hold on to that water for a bit longer than you normally would. Am I, you're not going to make me try that, are you? No. Yeah, why not? Uh, oh, I could put one of these. Oh, in. thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so my ultimate hydration cocktail. Thank you very much. <laughs> actually, I don't mind that. Tastes a bit like a margarita. <laughs> it's, it's actually all right. I'm beginning to get the idea that water might not be the best drink to hydrate us after all. Back out in the office, how are our volunteers getting on with the other everyday drinks we're testing? Coffee, fresh orange juice and milk. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Good. I didn't expect to see you all sitting here. I thought you'd all be in the loo. <laughs> Laura, oh gosh, that no must milk. be the worst. Warm milk. It's not, How's it it's, going? It's not the best, I have to admit. The aftertaste is not very pleasant. No, it takes me back to school days. Warm milk, horrible, cleggy. Yeah. And what about the loo? Because with milk, I wouldn't have thought that would have gone it, through you quite as quickly. I did. I thought it would fill me up. Yeah. But no, I, I do actually really need to go. Right, right now. I better leave you alone now. Jamila, I can see by your glorious little vessel here that you're on water. Yes. So how's it going? Um, and have you been going? <laughs> I, I've been going, and I probably think that's probably the best one to have had. Jennifer, how's it yeah. going? It's not too bad, actually. I've got orange juice, so it fills you up quite a lot. Do you think it's a good hydrator? I'd probably say water's better. I prefer water, but it does go through you quite quickly, so... 
So how are you feeling around the, the bladder region at the moment after four large coffees? You're bursting to go to toilet at the moment, so I not but Yes, go, go. I don't want you bursting over me, Alan. Go. Thank you. Don't take your coffee. And after three hours and umpteen trips to the loo, it's time to see which of our four groups is the best hydrated. This figure shows an overview of really uh, the urine outputs in relation to water. Um, and we can see if we call water 100% that uh, drinking coffee wasn't any different from water. Drinking the orange juice really wasn't any different from water either, even though it looks like it's going yeah. up slightly. But drinking milk seemed to be the best for helping to retain body water over the time we, we have studied. So milk is a better hydrator than water? Yes, well, it's for two reasons. One is that the delivery of fluid is a bit slower because of the protein in the milk. Uh, it slows the delivery of water to the circulation. And secondly, it has quite high sodium and potassium content, which helps to hold the water in your body. Wow, my, my. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for sustained all-round hydration, milk in all its forms, skim, semi-skimmed, full fat, is the best hydrator. Yes, that's how it seems. We, the previous oh. study, we looked at skim milk and full fat milk, and today we've looked at semi-skim milk, and they're all coming out very similar. I'd never have thought milk would hydrate me better than water, and that fruit juice and even coffee can do the job too. From now on, I'll feel less guilty about my morning coffee with a splash of milk.